Hey Pisces, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my channel everyone and thank you for being here today for your your next love relationship tarot reading. We're going to be looking at your next major relationship and who it's going to be with. Anything else you can sort of expect as this relationship unfolds and anything that the cards can reveal. So very excited to be doing this reading for you Pisces. Um, this can be to the cross watches as well. So if you're connecting with the Pisces, you may find some pieces here that are resonant with you. Um, okay, so anyone after a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting those. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you wanted to become a channel member and get access to bonus readings and extended readings, please feel free to sign up for channel membership with the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, Pisces, let's have a look and see your next major love relationship, Pisces. Let's have a look and see what comes up. Okay, so strong air energy. Um, so I'm sensing there could be someone with heavy air placements so far. Okay, it's definitely in your prophecy to have this relationship, so it's going to be very special for one reason or another. <clears throat> okay, overall energy, the Wheel of Fortune, that, that is how this person is presenting themselves. So... I feel like you have someone who's going to be a huge presence in your life. Um, I also feel like you have someone coming in who's very wealthy, very talented, is very attractive or is noticed by um, a lot of people, okay, because they've got this luck kind of energy. I get quite a spiritual person who's going to come forward here and I feel like they're going to come at a very special time in your life. They're going to show up at a very special time. You might be doing something for your career. You might have just encountered a loss. You might be starting a new spiritual journey. There is definitely something here about timing that you need to know here, Pisces. So I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of that next to this person. Now we've got Cancer and Chariot in that Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, sorry, Cancer and Capricorn um, in that Wheel of Fortune card. So it can be someone in the sign of a Cappy or a Pisces, uh, Cappy. Capricorn and we've got Pisces here as well we had Cancer with the moon and I did mention bits of traces of air energy so but I feel like overall this person is someone who's currently turning their life around as you meet um, and I feel like they could be very religious and or spiritual uh, I also feel like they could be very analytical like they look at the pros and cons of situations they assess risks they're very analytical and they're a bit of a problem solver uh, is what i'm getting here as well could also be someone who's coming from further afield so someone who is from a different country a different city there can be this foreign link to this person so it's going to be a huge relationship um and i feel like you will come into each other's lives to turn your lives around so i feel like straight away it makes me feel like this person has something they've got going on on their end and you do too in a lot of ways it could be very similar so it's almost like you will bond over that over what you share together so i think that's going to be very special we've got a couple of pages so i'm wondering if this person is younger than you there could be quite a substantial age gap here that I'm sensing, uh, or it's someone who hasn't had what you've had in love. So maybe you've had kids or you've been married or you've been engaged or you lived with someone. There's something that you've done that they haven't in love, specifically in love is what I'm getting. Okay, so for a lot of you, it is a new person with the Ace of Cups, but I feel like they may feel familiar with the moon uh, or it could be like, it's, you'll have a lot of deja vu moments in this relationship, but I feel like I'm, I'm sensing this is like a clean slate. So this next relationship is going to be very different to anything you've had before. I can't stress this enough that it is a destined connection. We've got that page of cups here, which is you. Um, and I feel like 
they're going to offer you the world, he Pisces. Whether or not you're going to take up that offer or you're going to find something interesting here. Okay, your eyes are here, not on the ace. Uh, it makes me feel like there's something pretty big that they're going to propose to you. Now, it could be moving in, it could be getting married, it might come fairly on in the relationship. But what's crowning your reading is that Ace of Cups. You, I see you very happy with this person. And I feel like they'll give you the world. They will go to the ends of the earth to make you happy. They'll accommodate you every single chance they get. Um, especially if they too have that water energy because that's that selflessness. That's that accommodating energy. That's them showing you that they love and they care about you. That's their way of showing it back to you. Um, so I feel like that's coming up in the cards. I feel like a lot of you might travel with this person. So I do feel like there's a long distance or a traveling vibe coming up. I feel like there's children in the cards here as well and, and pregnancy. So some of you may become pregnant to this person or they're bringing in a child from another relationship because the moon is the mother. So there could be a mother in the picture. If you're a female, you're meeting a guy, he's got a, a child with another woman, then that's the mother energy. Um, but I also feel like you might come to share a very sacred and special relationship with this person's mother as well. So there's there's a bond that can happen here. You'll be accepted into the family, I think. Mm. I also get like this person's going to put you on a new spiritual path. You know, they may introduce you to Christianity. They might take you to temple. Uh, they may get you to read some sort of spiritual leader or some sort of book that is not necessarily a cult. I wouldn't say it's a cult. I would say it's just a, a following of some kind. And I feel like they could really open your eyes. It may have something to do with them coming into your life at a very special time because I think they're going to put you onto something that you're going to find very inspiring. Um, I do want to say there may be times throughout this relationship where you may have financial troubles, especially if you're like a struggling artist, they're a struggling artist, and you come together and you're both struggling artists. It could be something like that, but I feel like there may be some financial hardships in this relationship. So money may be a concern, uh, and I feel like, or it may be like this person is more financially dependent on you or you're more financially independent on them. There's definitely one of you that's going to be more reliant on the other. So I feel like you'll have to sift through that. You'll have to make some clear boundaries about what you expect from this person. You know, do they expect you to be a housewife? Do they expect you to be the breadwinner? Um, is there an expectation here for children? I feel like there's some things you'll have to discuss. This could also be very similar to something you've had in the past with someone else. Maybe not the person per se, like the person may not feel familiar, but it's like you've done this before. So maybe you've been in a relationship where you've given someone money and you tried to get them into school uh, or you tried to get them mo to move on from an ex or something like this. I feel like that could repeat itself um, I do, but there is an opportunity for growth together, which is great. Um, I see some of you getting a pet together, okay? So you're adopting maybe a, a puppy, a kitten, and that tells me you're going to be in a creation stage of this relationship where you're wanting to create something together. Um, and I feel like that could make you very, very happy. But I'm seeing engagement children. Of, we've got a betrothal, so an engagement. We've got the High Priestess, which is telling me there could be pregnancy here. Um, I'm also getting loss, Pisces. What's this loss? One of you may lose something or someone very special to you while you're together. But the beautiful thing about this is that this person is going to be there by your side, holding your hand. Um, working through things together because that's what they're going to want from you and it's the expectancy that they may place on you as well but I feel like I feel like yeah they're going to be they're going to be there for you Pisces they're going to be with you through some tough times so I feel like it's a 
it, it's a tough character that's coming through. It's someone who doesn't just quit and run away when things get hard. They'll be there through the bad times. They'll be there through the struggles. They may always, they may not always know what to do and how to handle it, but you're going to get endless support from this person. The arch is like a support structure. So you're going to get the support that you're wanting from this person. And I feel like because they're so probably like they're, they're quite spiritual and they're big on faith, maybe that's what drives them to be such a, such a reliant partner. I mean, that's rare, Pisces. Come on, in this day and age, it's rare. Um, what else? The High Priestess. There may be some secrets or things that are sort of hidden in this relationship. It's important to be careful that it's not like major things. I mean, little white lies aren't good either, but from what I'm seeing, just be careful. The High Priestess withholds things from us. So it could be that at times you don't feel like you can be yourself or you don't feel like you can be completely vulnerable. Um, you know, like sometimes you have to step up and you have to be like the parent in the, in the connection. Like you're the one looking after everything and making the bookings and organizing the dates. And, you know, what are they doing? Vice versa. I mean, as long as they're not taking advantage. But I am sensing quite a, like a soulful relationship, quite a soulful connection that you'll have together. Um, you might be meeting through travels. Spirituality is a big one. Anything to do with like going to church, renting a book from the library about this guru, and then they're in the same aisle as you. Um, anything to do with like getting together with the community prayer, meditation, yoga classes. I feel like that's how you're going to connect with this person. It could be through work, like financial services. So anything that you're paid to do uh, along those lines, maybe even creative pursuits. So if like you're working on some sort of project and putting it together, um, I feel like they could be there. And I want to say enjoy the surprise with that seven of cups, because I feel like they're going to be a wonderful little surprise here for you. I feel like right from the get-go, they're going to be quite persistent. I don't think they're going to play hard to get Pisces. I think they're going to lay it all out there on the table and you'll know they're keen. You'll sense it with the moon. It's intuition. So you'll you'll sense that they're very keen to be with you, um, to bed you, to take you out on a date, you know, whatever it is that they plan to do. I I feel that's that's in the cards. But yeah, a bit of an age gap. So you'll have to be patient. They may have had children young. There could be a very early pregnancy in this relationship as well, maybe. For some of you, I am picking up that this person may not be completely honest and tell you they have kids or tell you that they're separating or something like this. But to be honest, I think you'll sense any sort of activity like that. Anything that seem suspicious i think you're gonna get on it nothing goes past you pisces uh, you see it all mm. very nice reading i'm gonna leave it there so i do hope it has been helpful uh, if anyone out there is after a private reading please feel free to reach out and email me and i will send you over the booking details um, otherwise it really does mean a lot that you've been on the channel so thank you so so much Pisces. Uh, lots of love and angel blessings. I hope you're very happy in this next relationship. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this vid. Otherwise, I will be speaking to you soon. So thank you and ciao for now.